Podcast. I'm at Building 16 at NASA's Johnson Space Center in eh, Houston, Texas, Clear Lake. I was, it's a little bit outside of Houston. And we are at, I'm gonna say the Cupola Training Simulator. It's actually the Systems Engineering Simulator. Yep. Lab Building 16, something like that. Um, and what we're going to do is walk inside of it. We're literally at NASA. We're going inside of actual training equipment that actual astronauts use? Yes. Okay, yes, actual astronauts use. So you know my gig. I like to surround myself with people that are smarter than me. And at NASA, that's not hard to do. With me, I've got Megan with an H, Deli. <laughs> Come over this way. <laughs> Who is the lab manager for SES, right? Yes, that's correct. All right, what does that mean? You manage the lab, like there's a bunch of paperwork or? No. No, that's Actually, good. yes, there is paperwork involved. There's always paperwork involved with everything. But yes, I, so the SES is a giant high bay of what we're standing in right now. So what's behind us is a dome, much like what you see, you know, when you go to, you know, some museums like and everything like that. Like a planetarium or something. Like a planetarium. A big projector dome. So, yep, and the mock-up that you see inside is going to be a cupola mock-up. So we have several domes in here where we do a lot of training, a lot of engineering analysis. Um, so we have several. We have a mini dome. I did not name all of these, just FYI. <laughs> the I'm mini dome. I'm much more clever than that. Um, where we do a rover analysis. We did window analysis for the rover. Um, and we have Orion, and then we have a, um, a video wall where we do advanced concepts or proof of concepts for um, Geo as well as Lucky Gateway. So you yeah. have to understand, you're going to see this video later, I, I promise, you'll see. But uh, imagine like a wall, you're like, oh, we're in the cupola simulator and the windows are little monitors. No. That's not what this is. This is a cupola, like a full size. It's a full size mock up. Full yes. size mock up. No negative training whatsoever, that crew does. Negative training. I don't negative, actually know what that means. So, negative training basically just means that everything they do, malfunctions are imported, um, everything in there, all hardware is correct. So everything inside the cupola that you'll see is identical to what is on board the ISS. No, so every little switch that's every little for switch. controlling. Mm -hmm. it, it, I guess we didn't even cover what do you do in the cupola. We're going to be working with the Canadarm 2? Question mark? <laughs> the SSRMS, which is the, <laughs> the Canadarm, the space station, RWS, which is the robotic arm. Yes. Wait, the SSRMS. Oh no! Yeah. What's it yeah. mean? Space Station Robotic Manipulator System. Space Station Robotic Manipulator, Manipulator System. System. Somebody write that down. Mm -hmm. And then the other one was the. Well, he said the SS, the SRMS, which was show, which is for the shuttle. Okay, for the shuttle. So uh. way back when, we'll give you some history for this high bay. In the in this Alpha Dome, we had a shuttle simulator. The it Alpha a, Dome, by it the was way. A, it was it was it was it was a DAC. So. You actually, where we operated the shuttle arm, you looked out onto the shuttle payload bay, and the cupola was actually located right over here. And they actually did, um, they would grab something inside, they did, we did um, grab something inside the payload bay, and they would hand it off to the SSRMS to put it on board station. Yeah. So it even did training like that, like like a handoff sort of Absolutely. thing, as you're unloading things from yeah. the shuttle and then attaching them to the station mm -hmm. or you're putting them on the station or whatever. Yeah. No kidding. Mm -hmm. So it, it, I got to again, I'm going to say one more time. Imagine like, oh, that's a great video wall you've got there. It's not a video wall inside of this. This is a big dome. It's There's a dome. multiple projectors and it's like you can yes. look around out the, the, the windows of the cupola, <laughs> the holes that allow light into the place where you're standing. Um, and you can actually look around and it's this big dome that's probably 10 or 15 feet away from where you're standing. I, I just made that number up, I don't know. Yeah, actually, um, it tells you in the... Oh, it's, in there. she's yeah. like... But why, like, but why he said, yeah, as I handed him the... <laughs> while, while he said projectors, these are the projectors, and this is actually how... So oh. it's a video tree, this is how we test the projectors. Okay. Right? So, where they're all working. Because you see That's good. a photo, right? Yeah. <laughs> you see it, you see our <laughs> so Doug is our in-house, is a NASA in-home. It's actually the same branch. Right. Um uh uh <clears throat> me. So this is how we test our projector. So this is each one of these screens is a projector that's a putting projector. an image up on the dome. Yes. And when you step into the dome, this is what you're going to see but in sort of 3D around you. And yeah. it's all blended. So yeah, what we do, it's got, yeah. yeah, so you can see it twice. So we blend them with all, all our firmware and everything. Gotcha. Yeah. And these are the monitors that you see yes. in the cupola? So this is the so this is the lead. This is the latch end effector camera that's located on the end of the arm yeah. with the overlays that crew sees on board and this is what they use 
to um, basically capture Dragon. So this right. is Dragon, the visiting vehicle right. that approaches. And so this is just another camera that's located on board of the ISS. And you can change these cameras. So in on inside the cupola, there are three monitors. So the middle one is usually the lead um, and the crew love, this is one of their favorite because this is how they capture it. It's like and the first person view almost from the end of the camera arm. From the end of the, yeah, it's yeah. right on the end. So you can see the arm right here. From the lead. Or what, from the, the latch end effector. The latch yeah, end the effector, lead. yes. You can say lead. I'll try. Like, Everyone says lead. You're fine. The lead. Our own, our own acronym, our own language. I'll fit right, right? in. I'll our fit our right own in. language. <laughs> our, our acronym. And yes, and you can change the cameras around to what we ever have on the ISS. We yeah. have several. Um, what we're not displaying right now are lighting effects. So we can display lighting effects. So the Lee actually has snow on it. Really? Yep. It's like, not perfect. Uh, it's, it's sort like, of grainy or something. And it's I guess. blurry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And this one is actually pink. It's pink. Yeah, it's actually pink on board. <laughs> and so we can we demo all of that. Anyways, like we said, we are actually inside the Kubula Dome. That's not the right thing to call it. It's the SSRMS. Alpha Dome. Alpha Dome. We're inside the Alpha Dome. Yeah. And the thing Kubula that's Maka. configured inside the Alpha Dome is a Kubula Maka. Yeah. And it's the SSRMS. Mm -hmm. Did I get that right? SSRMS. All right. The Space Station Remote Manipulator System. Thank you. See, this is why I surround wow. myself with people smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> But what we're going to do, we're actually going to try, I believe, to capture a spacecraft that's hovering outside the space station. What does that mean? The dragon. We're going to try dragon. to capture a dragon. And what does that mean? It's like, oh, you're just going to look at the screen and like play a video game? No. Look. <laughs> we're actually, you can look outside the windows in this entire, let's say it's like a half dome, 24, 26 feet, 24 feet in diameter. Um, it's a big dome that has multiple projectors on it that are all blended together to give you this actual view. You can look out of it, you can sort of lean around the thing. Because you know, you're playing a video game or something, right? And there's like a bar on the screen and you can't, you can't see outside your spacecraft. And you try to lean to look around it, and it's a monitor. You can't lean to look around it. It's just one image it's displaying. No, 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 no. When we have the big dome projectors and stuff, and we have an actual, I mean, <laughs> There's not actually glass in this. <laughs> so, real quick, when you yeah, do that, yeah. do you see this right here? Yeah. That's the cap. That's that, the... So, this is the cap to the cupola. Oh, the cap to the cupola yes. over there. So, on board, it's yeah. usually above. So, that's why we have that right there. Because when you're inside, um, crew, it... they want to see if it's in their way. Right. Mm -hmm. So, that's the, it actually has that, that in there. That is the do cap you get to the that cupola. Saber? Yep. And it's mm -hmm. even in a position where I didn't know it was there. Yeah. It's not blocking right. my right. view at all. Right. It's right at a, even Depending the angle. Depending on the crew height, it could be. Yeah. That's why it's there. Mm -hmm. oh, you're right. And I guess that's another thing that's not simulated in here. Clearly, we're on Earth. We're not actually in space right now. I know you might have been fooled, but uh, we're not floating around currently, right? Correct. That's not. However, we do have, um, um, like, well, this is one of them. Um, we do have a step stools, right? Because so this oh. is so right now we're we're looking at the Earth. So right. we're actually, if you look at the cupola from the space station, it's actually facing down. It's always pointing so down. So it's right? on node three. So you're actually you fly or float up from the bottom. Right. Right. So when you're on board, you literally just hook your feet in from the bottom. Okay. So, so there's hooks could, or something yeah. like that. So some some crew members that are shorter than others, right? So think of think of me. I probably so you want to be able to think that your hands are right. correct. You, so that that's why. Gotcha. So yeah. I'm not gonna have to hook my feet into anything or nope. anything like that because we have you, gravity here, no, right? But if you wanted to be shorter, you'd be on a step. You'd slope. be on a step slope of something. Also, there's also gravity on the ISS. That's why it stays in orbit. I try to correct that all the time. But <laughs> anyways, what we're going to do here is is try to capture the dragon capsule. And like we were saying, this is an actual training simulator. This isn't a game. This isn't like oh look at me, I'm in a cardboard cupola or anything. This is the actual training simulator, and they try to simulate as many of the things as they can. So even though we can't simulate microgravity here, they can simulate the actual function of all the tools, the buttons, the switches, that sort of stuff. They even go to the level of detail where the screens simulate the actual camera. So you can see they're really clear right, right now. They're not actually this clear on the ISS. This is the rendered version. On the ISS, it looks like this. That was cool. <laughs> so you can actually see there's a little bit of snow in it and they simulate that. This camera is peak for some reason. I don't even know why, but that, that's why it's, it's peak. It's broken. It's, is it really? Yeah. <laughs> it's broken on the actual ISS. 
So they simulate that here as well. It's got like a, like a loose cable or something. I don't know. Um, they, so during EVAs, they'll actually switch out the cameras. Right. They only have so many. Now, is it and the they, monitor or the camera? So it's actually the camera. Okay. So just recently, they actually did an EVA that they actually switched the lead camera okay. out. So, so they put a different camera on this yeah, one? Yeah, that still looks like that, though. It still but, looks like it's, it's got snow on it. But it's better than the old one. But again, the important thing is this is an actual training simulator. Yes. Astronauts who are going to be on the actual space station come here to actually learn how to operate this equipment, which is, I should shut up now and actually try to operate the equipment. So <laughs> again, sure. Megan's going to yeah. walk us through this and tell us what our task is, what we're supposed to do Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So there's usually two crew members inside. Um, they call them M1 and M2. So, but um, right now, you're gonna be using, right now, we have a nice sim set up for you. Okay. So, but, and, so you're about five meters away from, from Dragon. Okay, so the end of, the end effector is five meters away five from Dragon. Five meters away. And yep. you can actually look out there and see yep. that, right? Yep, so you use your translational, so okay. this goes X, Y, and Z, right. and your rotational, your pitch, yaw, and roll. Okay. okay, so this, this is, Translating side to side, translating up and down and forward and, and backwards. Forward and back. Do I push it, pull it to go forward and backwards, or how do I go forward and backwards? So yeah, so X this way. So you want to move it in the direction that you want the arm to that go. You want the arm to is go. what I always say. Okay. So go ahead, just feel for a trigger. Okay, I got a trigger. <laughs> don't pull it. Okay, I'm not pulling it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. I'm what. like, is this a trick question? I don't no, know. no, 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 no. Because every time I say find the trigger, people found it. And found I'm like, it. So I'm gonna tell you what it does. Okay, I haven't pulled so it yet. So you see this right here? Okay. So that is your grapple fixture with a pin sticking out of it. Right. So this is not five meters away. So here's your lead, sure. right? I just can't pull my arms five meters away. So as you move using your translational closer to the arm, right. okay, when you pull that trigger, when you're over the pin, ah, okay, does that it's what Closes, closes down. Snares. It's a bunch of cables in there. It's a, no, it's a snare. A snare, okay. It's a snare, and they close like circular motion, which right. my hands don't move that way. So they, so a cir circular motion like that. Gotcha. So you don't want to pull that trigger until you're over it, and that's what these overlays tell you. Well, they tell you. me when I'm in the right spot. Exactly. Or okay. So that's what you're going to use your translation for right okay. now. Okay. However, there's more okay. <laughs> because you're five meters away. So right now on, on Dragon, which is your visiting vehicle, okay, right. you have a GNNC operating on it right now, okay. which means it has a, a control system. Right. Okay. Is it so the station keeping it or it's, it's keeping its orientation that, or something? Exactly. Gotcha. So, so, go, so you're going to start moving your translational. So you want to align, see these yep. green? So yep. that's what you're going to align when you move closer in this white line, yep. white circle. Inside that white circle, there's a white dot. Gotcha. So you want to keep this, move this in line with there. So I'm aligning the overlay with the target, mm -hmm. not with the little triangle thing here, not right? With, not with this. That's where the actual exactly. pin and That's stuff is. That's where the pin is, because you want to keep it, you want to put that here. Gotcha. So the camera's above It's going to be down here, and we're going to be lining up with the little circle, the black and white target Correct. there. Correct, right? right above the grapple acronym? fixture. Not the overlay, oh no. Okay. Yeah, because I mean the grapple fixture is GF. The GF, okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, really. Okay, I mean, so this is the grapple GF fixture, that. then we have the target, that, we have the so overlay. Yeah. All right, gotcha. So, and then when the white lines hit these blue right. hashtags, me, as your second crew member, uses this, this hardware, right. okay? It's called the command control panel. And I'm going to put you into what's called free drift. Okay. So what free drift means is it cuts that control system off of that vehicle. Off the vehicle. Yep. So it doesn't keep trying to maintain its own yep. orientation. Because you're two meters now yep. away from the arm. Gotcha. And you don't want to fight it, I guess. Like you don't, you don't want, want to grab the vehicle you and then have the vehicle do something. And thruster firing is that close. Oh, that makes sense. Yep. Okay, so, so when it's sitting there, it can actually fire its thrusters while it's on this auto station keeping mode. That's what's mode. keeping it. Then we turn that off when we're close enough. Yeah, it's see, like, it's all right. nice and standing nice and still for It is. It's actually, you can see it, it's been sort of drifting back and, back forth, and forth. So, yeah. all right. But it's not floating, it's not drift filtering back. So, but when you're two meters away, it, it can start drifting. Drifting. In this scenario, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to tell you it's not going to do that. Okay. But I can give you another one where it will. <laughs> I, I almost, so, I feel, I don't want to play in like easy mode or anything, but also not an astronaut. So let's see what, <laughs> see what this does. So what should so I, now, do? When do I So now you have 99 seconds to capture the arm. 
Reason for that is, is because for HTV, you have to. So what the instructors like to do is they like to train crew for all three vehicles. You have right. to capture the arm within 99 seconds. Okay, it's from the time you get to two meters or from the time you start? Time you get to two meters. Time you get to two meters, yes. okay. So, so it's like you enter this danger zone or something. Yep, and you'll see your free drift timer pop up over here okay. on this overlay. And so I will tell you through your timer. I'll also let you know where you are, situational awareness, right. all of the above. I also won't shut up and let you know when to pull that trigger. <laughs> I promise. No, that's fine. And I'll let you know when you're in free drift, all of the above. So you're two meters away. Can then you, you'll keep going right. and wanting to capture. And then when the end of the when the uh, white lines are in between those red hashtags, right. So when you're over the pin, pull the trigger, and the stairs will close. Is there anything that pops capture. up and says, "Hey, good, you're in the right spot. Pull the trigger," or you just have to say, do, "We don't have M2 on." No, <laughs> no. Okay. We we do have us that we so this same sim is on board station on and it's called robot the robotic onboard trainer and it's called so, robot uh, it's called robot <laughs> it's got a robot the, in the acronym the and it's second, called robot the second o is small it's small <laughs> <laughs> it's like eh, just the, the robotic on, on board trainer because <laughs> this is like one word um yes so on there they um, so once they're trained on the ground, right. there's um, a lot of time passes before they fly. So they do proficiency evals, they, 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 they train themselves on all three vehicles, all, all the 2M cases, yep. which means you're two meters away, they retest themselves on board, it's located in the US lab. Gotcha. Same sim. Setup is different. It's two, <laughs> two laptops, two of the SSC laptops, which are these. Oh, that's, this is a laptop. Is there a laptop on the space station? Just like oh, strapped yeah. in this, right here? Yeah. This really? Is this. this is this. So you see the procedures here? Yeah. This hardware is the DCP. That's how you can change the cameras. If you don't want the pink ch camera, I can change it for you. you. Switch it around or yeah. whatever? Mm -hmm. So this, there's actually two laptops strapped into these because you're training for the actual environment you're going to work in. Yep. So. See this? Oh, even this. There's an audio terminal unit. This is the ATU. So this is, yeah, they, this is the intercom. So the intercom? this is funny. So this is not, this was here for the instructors. Right. So see, you, I mean, it obviously it's a doesn't picture. work. It's only a it's model. It's a picture, like, but you know, but what is real? The cable, these exactly. hoses? So here's the story. So what was happening on board station is that crew didn't know where it was right. when they were training and they kept knocking the cables loose. Oh. So they asked us to put one in here one so in they here. understood. So we 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 put in the cables, but we didn't have to make a real <laughs> Yeah, it, didn't, it, didn't, it was just this knowing that these exactly. things were here. Yep. No kidding. So this is real too. So don't this hit is, it. Yeah, I'll try not to hit it or float into it or anything. I feel like I need to like hang upside you down. You haven't hit it. You yeah. knew. Sorry, you knew it was there. We're pretty good about going into a space and not like elbowing stuff. Now that we've said that, I'm going to elbow it like eight times. Um, all right. So, so you're ready to go. One more question. Like as I move this, I can sort of get a feel for it, right? If I move so it to one it side, is, it's not going to. So it will. So right? this. So have you done any sort of simulation like pulse or dock? Uh, no, I haven't done any official simulations. So are you used to flying, I, like any sort of I've THC? docked a couple times in Kerbal Space Program. Okay. That's so, what I got. So you're used to a pulse, uh, like moving in and out? Not, I, what do you mean by that? Like what's so a pulse? You, pull, you just go so, so Yeah, and okay. then waiting for it to drift basically to a target. Ah, yes, okay, this I know what you're talking about. This is completely different. Okay. It's slow and controlled movement as in do not let go. I see. If when you let go, you'll notice the arm bounce. Right. Okay, and that's the, that's the orbital just, dynamics yep, acting yep. on the arm. So the arm is very hard. It is. It really is. It is very hard to move. Hence why we put this scenario. Right, right, right. right. We will flat out give you another one. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> so it is not a pulse. Okay. It's slow and controlled movement. It's move, so, then yep. let go of it, and it stops. You don't have, like a thruster firing, you would pulse, you go, Psh, exactly. and you would wait you for you to rotate in the right. And that's like we do it. in ultra hardcore, yes. And yes, and you would hear it. You will not hear any noise for this. in here. Okay. Yep. That's a great question. Like when mm -hmm. they do it, do they hear like, but it's nope. so far on the other side of the station. Hear, no, the station is too loud. The station's too loud. The station's too loud. Oh. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, I could talk about this forever, but at some point, I'm just going to have to grab the controls and try. Yeah, so, go ahead. So, just and go I, ahead. She's like, and you you can let go of the RH of the this one. Right. Right of the uh, yes of the RHC. Okay. You, you, right. See, right now you're pitching backwards. So let go. Oh, I was, of it. Oh, I was pitching backwards. Yeah, I saw really? you doing it. So don't. I'll let you. It's so, that sensitive, I guess. It, 
It is. So, oh. well, I, I, I noticed it just because yeah, people yeah, yeah. tend to do that. Yeah. Um, so I'll let you know when to grab onto it for the for the trigger. So it's like translate first so and just, then. Yeah, just just grab this for your, yeah, for your translational. Okay. And then, I mean, you'll be able to notice it with the, with your overlays. Gotcha. Can I say so, something cool about the rotational yeah, control? Yeah, sure. yeah, go ahead. So it actually pivots in the middle as well. I think it pivots both. It's, in, it's right up top, yeah, not at the bottom. Yeah. Because, okay. because if you're pushing for yourself in space, it's gonna move you around. Yes. Oh. So if if you're used to flying um, airplanes, right. the pi the pivot point is at the bottom. Is at the bottom, right? So these are in the middle. Okay, in the middle. Yeah. I'll see what the, whenever if I touch it. I don't want to touch it now. She already got onto my. Well, uh, we'll, we'll, put, we'll, we'll we can actually put a scenario on for you where you have to you use have it, to and use you'll it? notice the well, you'll notice the pivot point. Okay. Yes, it is in the middle. Well, let's let's do that. Let's see if we can oh. drive this thing around <laughs> and. <laughs> so, is, is there any, like, so there's I'll talk, I'm gonna, so, well so that's what I was gonna, just gonna say so I'll talk about this, the cage right so a lot of people like use the cage because it'll steady their hand right because you're floating right? you're float you're you're, you're not standing, you're, you're, you're floating, floating and it's right? slow and controlled movement okay so um this is like the I, claw grip like she's got it down I'm very different so people will do this I've seen a lot of crew members do this right I'm actually very different and just use my thumb just use your thumb okay I'm just different but that's I don't know anyone else that actually not very does sweaty. That. Like if you just very, slip off a lot of something. people just do just do this. Okay, but yes, a lot of people can just put one finger on the cage, or you just use it. Just feel comfortable, okay. and if you don't feel comfortable with the cage at all, just just don't use it. But it I'm is, gonna try that right there. Steady. Yep. Because now I want it. And so X X X this way. We'll okay. Move you closer. Can I, I'm just gonna move it and see what it does. Like. So that moves you to the opposite direction that you actually want to go. Yep. Yep. Go that way. <laughs> Get a feel for it here, right? And so you can see how you slow see it is. It. So yeah, so that's two things. There's only two modes of the arm. Right. So right now you're in vernier. Okay. I'm not going to tell you how to get to the other mode that's because fine. I don't want you to go to that mode. Okay. Because it's very hard. Okay. Um, but so if you actually look at this, so you want them it's to. It's how be, much I'm. Yeah, like, in that area. Yeah, and you want them to stay level. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, the two level. Yep. Okay. So yeah, right now you're doing great. What do you do to do that? Is it I'm putting like sidewards motion on this? You're staying or? slow and controlled. See, now you're just like There was go. the inertia, the whole, the momentum, yep. it was still sharp, going a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now it let go, so there's no more control no there, more. right? Mm hmm And it looks like the, either the arm swayed a little bit, It or, did, because you let go. Yeah. The dragon is also still drifting a little bit. It's still in its controlled mode. It has, it, it, so if, it, if the thruster is firing this way, right. it'll go this way. And then you'll uh, another one will go this way, and then it'll come back. Right. So you'll, it, it's staying there. So that actually, I pushed that a little bit too you're hard. Fine. You're you're actually fine. So I would just give it an X this way. She's acting way. like I never played a video game before. It's, well, it's not a video game. <laughs> it isn't. What's the difference between a video game and a simulation? This is a lot more expensive. Well, yes, <laughs> but what's also, I know some very expensive video games, yeah. but what the, there, there's a big, big difference. And we've learned a lot from the gaming industry, right? and graphics and everything, but there's yeah, one, yeah. One, one big difference between the gaming industry and, simu and simulations. What Do is you know it? what that is? I don't know. Hardware? It's something that begins with a P. P. H. Physics. H. Physics? <laughs> I don't know what it's <laughs> it's yes. the physics. Do you know why that is? Uh, like the simulation of the physics? Yeah. Why? Well, because we simulate physics. Because it's actually being simulated. A lot of the contact simulated. models and all of that. So if you actually go back and look to video games and you actually look at someone someone rolling or someone actually... Yeah, you, it's just it, animated. It's animated or they'll actually brush all the way through the side of a like of a building or yep. something. None of that is, is being modeled in video games. But this is all like if I bump this thing. So I'm trying to go towards if it you now, wanna, right? Yes. So, okay. Yeah, so just push it in. Yep. If you actually, you can go ahead and bump it, and you'll see it start. To pitch and you'll back. see it start to to move. Yep. And the arm can only go so far, so all the joints will actually extend, and then it's called singularity. Oh, so I went over like to level two or something. Right if you push now, it enough, it bumps into another scale of the graph. Yes, it does. Okay, that's cool. Is there like a maximum like push yeah, this thing so all push the way? Yeah. All in? the way. Yeah. Like all the way in? If, oh, that's all the way in right oh, there. Oh, if you want to go all, oh, I thought you were trying to go all the way in one. You oh, don't, no. Don't pull out. Can I move on one, like a different axis? Like, Maybe. can I go forward and sidewards at the same yep. time? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can, mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong. It's not like only move in one axis at a time. You nope. can just do that. And you can definitely feel the shake there. It's sort of like you've got to let it stabilize on the target, yes. right? Okay. 
Because previously I was just doing like one thing at a time, right? You were, yes. And now I'm, I'm like, okay, well I can. You can, you definitely can give it more, one, more than one input. And I don't want to, because a video game, right? It's like, okay, this needs to be fun, so you do things sort of quickly, right? As opposed to very slow and steady when you're in actual space on yes. the actual space station. Mm -hmm. I assume I'm doing this correctly. Yes, you are. You're right. You're very well aligned, and you're about to be in free drift. Okay. Yes. Three, two. One, and you'll see so the that's free drift. And yep, I'm gonna keep the, going towards you'll see it. The timer pop up. Yeah, keep going. Okay. Here's your free drift timer. Okay. And now it's counting, so now it's I have to capture up. it within 99 seconds. Within yep. 99 seconds. I mean, it's Dragon, so you, nothing's going to happen if you don't. Yep. Um, but your report card, your track capture tool will yell at you. Will yell at me, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep going. So I'm going to just keep you going. You have a little bit of a yaw on it. Yep. You, I don't know if you see that, but Where you are, you are touching. See how it's tilted? Oh, yeah. You're, you're touching your heart. See, that's okay. You're still Would aligned. I rot should I rotate nope. it? Nope, because you're still aligned. See, the white dot's still in the middle. So you're fine. Keep going, and you're ah. on, you're, you're on, you'll be at capture in a couple seconds. Keep going a little and bit And I more. want that in the middle? A little bit more. Yep. Go ahead. Push the trigger. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Let go. You pulled it try twice. That's okay. It's okay. You have capture. Yeah, I didn't know if I had pulled it or not. So. You, you did. Is it, that it? Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah. So go ahead, keep watching. Okay. So. And so now it's it's so the snare is closing down. This the snare is closing. If you keep watching, it's gonna it's gonna be what's called rigidization. Right. So see how it's pulling it it's in. It's aligning it. And, and it's aligning it. Because then you're gonna be like, wait a minute, it didn't look like that when I captured it. And that's what it. it was supposed to look like when I captured and that it, right? Happens on board. That's mm -hmm. actually the way that that works. So I was a yes. little bit off, but yep. close enough because the snare oh. is like a target. Well, a, a, a little bit off. We'll show you what it actually looked like. Don't be afraid if this says fail because okay. if it just says fail, you're gonna fail the whole thing. All right. Okay. So, so it was captured. Oh, it didn't. You definitely pulled the trigger twice, and it's I not did. telling me that. I saw it. So, but you're, this is your capture death. Okay. Death. Remember when I said pull the trigger yep. and you waited? And I waited, yeah. So this is where it, where it was. So, you, ah. so if you didn't pull it, you would have bumped it. Gotcha. Right? So that was, I didn't know where the trigger was. Is, right, so look it. Okay. You didn't That's know the, where it was? No, so I knew it was there, but it felt like there were two triggers. So this is what it... Oh, yeah, so that's yeah. interesting you said that. So that is what the trigger is like on station. Right. So you pull, so yes, yeah, so there's a top and the there's bottom. There's a top bump and yeah. there's a bottom part. Right, so but, so just just make sure, just feel the middle of it. Yes. The middle of it, okay. So it's interesting that you said that. Because yeah, it didn't feel like so, one big trigger, it mm -hmm. felt like a bump and I was like, oh, is this the trigger, is this a hinge or what? So that's yes. why I did it twice, I thought I pulled it. People, and you're not the only one. All right, good. That. So this is, this is, this is a screenshot of the Lee at trigger pull. At trigger so pull. So you can see right here. That's the roll. That that is why you got really close. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Yeah. And so a lot. So you were fine. So you were. I mean, were, were the. Oh, that's the inputs I gave it. Yeah. So your reversals are three. So if you scroll down again, your right. font, your. I mean, here they are. So after two, these are your reversals. But so what I was what I was saying is about a lot of times. So your X is right. fine is that a lot of people after two meters, you see this all the way up here. Just it's all this input because they get stressed out and like, oh, there's a timer now I or tell something. everybody is that, uh, that they don't have to go to the gym after doing this because their anxiety <laughs> just goes up. So, so up at the top, there was a <sighs> bunch of uh, like these, yes. alignment at trigger pull was good was enough, good. alignment yep. at one pin, alignment at two pin, and it was just I didn't pull the trigger fast enough. Yes. Okay. That, that's this right here. All right. <sighs> Let's do it again. You want to do it again? What's the more difficult, there's a more difficult yeah. thing. You want a more difficult one? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, uh-oh. Yeah. yeah, so a big a big part of this is feeling the controls, yes. right? Because when I, I'll step back over this way. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't really know what I was supposed to do with this, and I didn't know like how much play does, or not play, but how much can I push it to one side, right? Yes. So you got to sort of feel that. And then the trigger, I can touch this now, right? But it, it, yes. it, it does feel like there's a top trigger yes. and a bottom so trigger. He's not going to He's not going to click it. Yes. So it doesn't matter where you're going to click it. But right? yes, it does. It's it feels one. like the grip. Yeah. So um, the grip is down here. Okay. And then the, the, the trigger is the on trigger's the top. The trigger's up on the top. Yes. Gotcha. So that's why I tell everybody before I explain the, be like, feel like, see if you can find the trigger. Don't right. Don't pull it. Right, right. right? Um, but yes, because so it, it feels it, like a 
the, if you feel the grip, it feels like the grip. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. It's just another bump, 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 bump. Exactly. Bump. Uh -huh. All right, good deal. But that's that's why you have simulators like this. This is why you do the yes. training here. You don't go up there and like, oh yeah. man, what does that trigger feel like? You should grab a hold of this thing and just know exactly what it feels like, mm -hmm. right? And then when you're there to actually capture a spacecraft that's been launched and has supplies and food and Thanksgiving turkey or whatever it is in it, this is part of the, <laughs> they do that, I think, don't they? They so, do, like, they, like have, they, they, will, they will be having Thanksgiving. Yeah. You don't want to like week. smack your Thanksgiving yeah. turkey out of orbit because mm -hmm. you don't know what this controller feels exactly. like. So that's why this is an exact rep a replica model it was simulator. This is exactly the same grip. Yep. Everything's the same. Oh, yes. This, yeah. the, the hand controllers are the same. It's exactly yep. what it feels the, like. Even, so even when I was talking about robot, all right. of that is the same. The, hand the same controllers stuff. Are the switches the same. are in the same places. Mm -hmm. The laptops. Yes. The, so even this, this, like the panel that we had yeah, in with this, the comms. This is identical. So Dragon is the only one um, that has a hardware command control panel. Right. Cygnus and HTV do it through the, through the CCP. The CCP. The, the laptops. OK. Yes. Oh, why is that? Is it like a backup thing or just different systems or, I don't know. So, um, so Cygnus, the, Cygnus and HTV used to do it hard, through hardware okay. and they decided to do it through um, the PCS. Um, we have pages for that. Okay. Um, and we're just, just, like we're just waiting moving for- Moving things along, yeah. Exactly, okay. we're just waiting for um, SpaceX to change their minds. I don't gotcha. know if that's ever going to happen. I gotcha. don't know. And even stuff like this, like this is... Those are their part of their procedures. This is their procedures, and they have them right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Amy's going to yell out three, two, one. Okay. Because you're already going to be two meters away. Okay. And so she's just going to what's called unfreeze dynamics. So okay. basically that, and then you're all set to go. Because, because you're already... Drift. Yeah, so yeah. that's you're already going to begin free draft. Okay. And is there anything else I'm going to need to do? Do I need to pitch her yaw, or...? Just make it up. When she un unfreezes dynamics, this is going to change. Okay, this is going so to it's change. Right, it's not on yet. So we're basically it's be putting paused. a rate. We're putting rates on the vehicle, so you have to figure out what to do to compensate. Ah, um, pitch and y'all over here. I'll figure it out. I'll move that, it out. So that's it does. that's the point. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of this is we have over like fifty plus scenarios. Wow. A lot containing malfunctions. A lot containing dual. So right. we have. Um, basically our, our backup, which is also located in the US lab right. outside. So like if something shuts off in here, crew has to run outside and, do, to, uh, and, ca and capture the vehicle. Because there's backup. a backup controller exactly. in the US lab, okay. Yes. All right. So yeah, so right now you're two meters away. So, so there may be a yaw in the vehicle. There may be a pit. We'll see there. what happens. But what Amy just said is that the rates are actually up. It's like spoilers. Don't don't tell me, I guess, right? No, okay. Maybe something else. I, don't, I actually didn't see which one she picked. Let's <laughs> see what it is. All right, so I guess we're ready. All right, you ready? Yes, yeah, we are. Go ahead. Three, two, one, go. Okay, the so remember it's 99 seconds because you're already yep. in yep. redraft. You're aligned. Yep. You're fine. How do I know when to pull? So it's when the line, so when the white lines are in between the red hashtags. Keep going. Keep going. I'm like almost at the extent of what the, I can pull do. Pull the trigger. That was, that was a big. Really that good. was a big bump. That was that was really good. That was better than your first one. <laughs> well, I, was, I knew where the trigger was. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> oh. So that time the, it was that moving was to the good. side, and I was having to chase there it. My thumb was actually the, hitting. So there were what? There were rates on the vehicle on yeah. the dragon. And rates on the vehicle means it, it was. Means it's coming up like this. Oh wow. Hmm. But that, I mean, my thumb was actually hitting the side of that. And I was like, oh no, am I going to run out of, of room? Because I was trying to push it mm -hmm. to just to keep up with it. Yeah, so that you was have, cool. Do you, do you have to go to the gym tonight now? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I usually don't go to the gym <laughs> anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. It's Excellent. So you have another report card. Did I get another report card? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go over to the report card here real quick. I like report cards. This is the best sort of report card to get, I guess, right? Yeah. So this is it. This is... Um, this is mostly used, we started using it on robot, and right. then they asked, it, asked us for it down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. God, 
and then even this, the graph is shorter. This yes. time, it took and less then time. Yeah, and you go ahead and scroll down. So that's with all of them. So we can actually pick and choose, but then all of them will say, oh, this is just X, yeah, and yeah. then this is YZ. Yep. And even that, I mean, the entire scale is about 90 seconds, right? Well, that's within, I think this is just your your two meters. Yeah, So, yeah. of course, it's going to be short. Gotcha. Yeah. And that was, like, captured within yeah. 40, and, oh, Amy already, five like, seconds see, or something. I'm sorry. I didn't 40, see how much it was. 40 seconds. Oh, 40, 40 seconds. seconds. All right. So that's a good time. Cool. Well, now I feel bad because it still says marginal, but. <laughs> no, you're fine. Thank you so you're much so for showing this to us. Like, <laughs> Very welcome. This is the, just, even something as small as that, like I'm trying to keep up with it and my thumb hits the side and I wouldn't want to be on the station not knowing like, oh, my thumb hits the side, start panicking. Because <laughs> it's just, you get a feel for the controls. Mm -hmm. God. What else, is there anything else we need to know in here that we, that we, um, anything to add? I always say this, I'm like, is there anything I didn't ask that you always want to tell people? It always puts people I on don't the spot. think so okay I, I don't I mean we talked about a lot um, yeah. so um, as far as history goes and what's going to become I mean this dome is old I mean it's older than me it's older than I've been working here if it's had other, Amy has been other here. things in that it. we used to have the shuttle like aft um, mock-up in here right um, yep so um, so you'd look out into the dome onto the payload bay. Right. Um, so that's when I started working here. Um, yep. That's it. The, so the craziest thing for me is when I was in there doing the sim. Just, yeah. Can I say doing the sim? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> we've got the big dome. Yep. Yeah. But I never looked out. I yes. looked at the, I needed so, the overlays. Right. I need the information on the screens. On the overlays, and yes. you don't get that when exactly. you look out this way. So, so that's, that's where the second crew member comes yeah. in here. So they help you with this. They're doing like spotting and stuff like that. But, but you have the camera right there. You've got the overlays. You've got all the information. And it almost sort of speaks to things like teleoperation. Yes. Like imagine a rover on Mars or something that's being driven. And even yeah. if you can't look out a real window to see it, you have all the screens and cameras and all the technology we have nowadays, and you can still do the control. You get signal delay and stuff like that, right? But yes. I, I, I thought I would be like, all right, now is it lined up correctly? But no, they you can't just tell, yeah, yeah, you just look at the at the screen. That's why we have overlays. We had over so we had overlays during shuttle. Yeah, uh, and we, I don't know if you want to talk about them. So you see, these are all digital. Yeah, the overlays during shuttle yeah. with were CRTs. Paper. Or they were they were like they were transparent oh. paper so that they Plastic. would come down. <laughs> Yeah, so we've come all their digital now. Yeah, no kidding. With yeah. actual transparencies. Yeah, the end of the shuttle program, they, they, were digital. they had digital. Yeah. Yeah. For a while, they were using like their transparencies. Their transparencies. Well, yeah. I'm, I know we are at yeah. the end of our time right now. We are at the end of our time here. So, again. The, the other big thing is the only thing I can say is all these mock ups, the domes that I mentioned before, they're all reconfigurable. Right. So we can take these out and pull another one in. Oh. Okay. Yep. So you we can, can put, put a different we can put a, and not only that we can put up another mock up on the dome another like we can put those say we can put the rover in here so right. we could have Mars oh. on and it's in the dome. That's really cool. Megan, Megan with an H. Megan with an H. <laughs> Thank you so much for the time. Thanks for letting welcome. us use the SSRMS <laughs> yes. and uh, coaching me through yeah. capturing the Dragon capsule here. And uh, I didn't boop it out of orbit or anything. Very so good. that's good. That's great. When do I get actually get to go up there and do it? Go ahead, go apply. <laughs> you go apply. I like that. That's a good answer. Go apply. All right. <laughs> we all, we're going to go ahead and shut it down for now. Thanks for watching. And uh, that was a really cool uh, tr training simulation. That's probably one of the cooler things I've ever done.